You're on now. You heard me? Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Chicken salad. Thank you so much. Good Everybody. morning, everyone. I, I always show you guys how to do the spring pasta. So, right now, this is a chicken pasta. But Sheikh is so fast, he already started the recipe before it even started. But let me tell you guys what's in here. Can you see Ashley? Yes. Okay, we put some vegetable oil. Okay. Okay, do loud talking. So you put some vegetable oil in your pot and heat it up and after you put onions and bell peppers, after you fry the onions and bell peppers, now you can put your grilled chicken breast in it and put some ginger and garlic. Same recipe as the shrimp pasta, okay? So this is the chicken pasta. Now we're going to put the pasta in it. This is our pasta. Demetra says, you're giving me a country girl working in the fields and fabulous. Yes! <laughs> I'm telling you, that's a country. Well, I think you want to everywhere, even in the city. Good morning, Mary. Good <laughs> morning. Check, check, check. Check, check, check. Give me the Check, give me heavy trick. So guys, this is the chicken pasta, okay? No, no, I'm good. But the most important recipe today is fried check. The most important recipe today is fried spinach. The reason I'm doing the fried spinach, I saw somebody um, text on one of my videos. She said um, she, she's diabetic, so she don't eat a lot of stuff, so now she eats mostly veggies, you know? So 
So if I can share some vegetables, some simple vegetable dishes, okay? So if you are watching me, I'm gonna do a simple spinach you can make and eat it. So simple, but it tastes so good. When I cook that spinach here, everybody go crazy, right? Mm -hmm. If somebody comes, some people who don't have the spinach, they go and crazy. Elizabeth said, hey, Chef Ruby, you did an amazing job yesterday. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, those people were very happy yesterday, you know? Like I always say, it don't take much to help somebody. Mm -hmm. You know? Just go ahead and help. So now you're going to put your heavy cream. Put your heavy cream in this pot and then it's faster. But I might have called this chicken rasta pasta. Lolo, thank you for the 50 stars. Thank you so much for the 50 stars. Then do some more all purpose seasoning. All purpose. Okay, guys. Salma says, God bless you, Rugi, for feeding the less fortunate. Thank you. Uh, give me some so guys, this is the chicken pasta, okay? Like I said, you cook it the same way you cook the chicken pasta, same recipe. I'm going to finish this and I'm going to show you guys how I cook my fried fish. Staying on you just yeah. to. Uh -huh. If you don't get there, that means you're not a real chef. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good morning, Nat Natasha. You have to get there a little bit. Mm -hmm. Oh, I feel good now. Like Rachel says, please do a cornbread recipe. Cornbread? Cornbread is the most simple thing to cook. <laughs> One day, yeah, I'm going to do some soul food. I'm going to start doing some soul food. I think the chicken is ready, Chef. When you don't take it out. Yes. So, we're going to let it cook for a minute. I want to wait until this done that I can share my spinach recipe. Because I'm here today to share my spinach recipe for my vegan people. For my vegetarian people, for my how they call them, they have another name. Vegan, vegetarian, respada, sara. Oh, they have names. Most of those people that eat veggies, they have another name they call them. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce it. They call them around this. You know? Doris says. Vegetarian. Yeah. Oh, a pescatarian, yeah. Pescatarian. Yeah. Pescatarian. Yeah. Pescatarian. Yeah. Yeah. Doris said, Hey Chef Ruby, so proud of you. You are God sent for blessings, the homeless. You are a blessing to us with amazing cooks. Love Thank you. you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Signita said, Good morning, Chef Ruby. I would love to have the recipe of the okra soup with the fufu. Sending love to you and your crew. 
That's why you need to follow me. That's why you need to tell your family to follow me. Tell anybody you know to follow my page. Any recipe you want to cook, just go on my page and look at all the recipes that I have. The upper soup, I think I have like three or four videos on my page, you know. So just go there and get it. I cannot give recipe to individuals, or I cannot type in recipe, or I cannot email recipe, because my third book is coming up. So if you don't get the ones on the video, you have to wait for the chef from his cookbook. <laughs> Natasha says, yes, that spinach was fire. Yes, the spinach is fire. Trust me, it's so good. Okay, let's mix this pasta. Chef, I need a cheese, the parmesan cheese, please. Cheese, cheese. I think I even need more milk. This one? This one? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, guys, we're gonna put some cheese. You got, you got change in there? I don't got no change. Go up there and change. I don't have change. So you want to change the hundred dollar or the one change? Uh huh. I got hundred dollar. Change the hundred then. Right. No, I don't have no money. Okay, guys, so you're gonna put two handful. No, don't close it. Wait, wait for me. I'm coming. Okay. Of this, I'm gonna change. Oh my gosh, this is the best pasta ever. Look at it guys. After you put your cheese, then you just go ahead and mix it. You know, like I always say, cooking is so easy. If you know what you're doing in the kitchen, cooking is so easy. All you need to do is to order this seasoning, guys. Just go on the website. I actually um, type in my website, internationalflavorscuisine.com. And now you don't even have to type it in like the way Ashley is typing it in. Just go on my page. The website is right there on my page. Just click it. It's going to take you straight to my product, okay? Go ahead and order all my product that I have. I have my seafood seasoning. I have my all purpose seasoning. I have my hot pepper sauce, I have my coatings, if you want to fry fish, you want to fry chicken, you want to fry lobster, you want to fry shrimp, anything you want to fry, even vegetables for my vegans, you want to fry some veggies, go ahead and get the all purpose coating, okay? So, Dante best. says it's the bomb.com. Dante, Dante. <laughs> Dante, you're going to make me start singing for you this morning. The bomb.com, okay? Go ahead and order your seasonings. All right. The pasta is ready. Chef, don't take it out. Look at this pasta, guys. Oh my god, this is chicken pasta. Same way you do the shrimp pasta. You know? It's ready. I'm gonna take it out and I'm gonna do my uh, spinach. Fried spinach. What? Hi, my picture, oh. baby daddy. <laughs> How are you? I'm okay. How is that? Huh? If I know what? Good morning, Ariel. Okay, we're gonna start our fried spinach. 
So for you, the vegan people, get up, take your pen and paper, so you can grab this recipe quick. Okay? Good morning, Matricia. Because I don't know when I'm gonna do it again. So come on and get your recipe. Chef Ruby, you have a beautiful heart for the people. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jennifer. So, onions, coconut oil, onions, bell peppers, ginger, and garlic. Okay? Show them this aroma. How you doing, sir? Can we help you? Are you ready for lunch? No, I think I'm good. Okay, okay. okay. We have some more stuff coming up. We have off sales coming up. We have chicken pasta over there. Everything is home cooked. Cook from scratch. Internet says, how do you make your ginger and garlic? I'm going to Internet. <laughs> Internet. It's so easy. Buy your ginger, peel it. I don't know if you know how to peel ginger. Because the first day I gave Ashley ginger to peel, I was so scared. <laughs> I was so scared, I keep looking at Ashley. I said, don't cut your fingers off. I don't have insurance, please. <laughs> you know, but it's so easy. Buy your ginger, peel it. If you don't know how to peel it, buy the um, scraper. They have the thing, you scrape. You know, buy that one. Make sure it's clean. Cut it up. You know, put it in the blender. The garlic, they have peeled garlic already. Buy the peeled garlic. Add it to the ginger in the blender, close your blender and blend it. That's it. Good morning, Raquita. That's it. So, this is my spinach recipe, guys. Now you're going to take your frozen spinach and put it in these beautiful onions and bell peppers and coconut oil. I need a knife for Stephanie asks, can you fry chicken with coconut oil? Uh, I don't know. I don't know about that one. <laughs> no, no, you never see that. When you see coconut oil, you don't see chicken. You never see that? Coconut oil with chicken? Uh, coconut oil is just for only cabbage or 
Chef said no. Yeah. Mr. Chef said no. Chef has been cooking for over ten years. Okay. Open up your eyes and see this. Then they're gonna they're gonna beat you up. Do you guys hear my chef? My chef said. Don't fry chicken with any coconut oil, okay? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Why do you say that? Then they're going to beat you up. I expect it now. I don't know what they're going to beat you up. Hey, leave my people up. They ask me questions. No, I know. We are learning. Boro or oil, that's it. We are teaching each other. Look at this spinach, guys. Oh, my God. Good morning, Barbara. If you cook this spinach for your family, you cook this spinach on any of your party, Oh my God. Natasha says, oh my God. Chef Ruby truly getting praises for blessings, the less fortunate. Oh. Huh? Yeah, everything else. Let's come for that one, So guys. Annie says, Good morning, Chef Ruby. Wish I was in ATL. I am hungry. She's like, Good morning, Chef Ruby. Wish I was in ATL. I'm hungry. Whenever you come to ATL to visit, come check Chef Ruby's out. <laughs> I'm just praying to God for me to have my sit-down restaurant. Because this restaurant, we are in a BP gas station, you know, it's a small location. I have to show them, you know, it's just a small something. You won't even, you won't even believe that we have this kind of food in the gas station. Because gas station mostly is fried chicken and biscuits, you know. So when some people come here, they eat this food, they, 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 they screaming. Oh, how long you been here? Man, what kind of food is this, you know? So, my prayers is for me to open a big restaurant outside where, where most of you guys can come and sit down and chill with Chef Ruby and eat. We can have a meet and greet. We can have um, some, we can have parties over there, you know? We can have a, 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 a international feast, you know? Maybe I can do like twice a year, right? We can sell tickets online, people are going to come eat with us. So let's continue to pray, okay? It's coming very soon. Inshallah. <laughs> Doris says, watching you makes me happy. I will be doing the spinach from now on. Yes, this is the spinach, guys. Let me mix it for them. Come on. This is the spinach. And don't put water, because the frozen spinach has water in it already. The water going to... Um, this, the water from the spinach is going to marinate with the stew. So please, when you cook your spinach, don't put water. A lot of people do doing that mistake. You know, by now they're going to take a, a bucket of water or a pan of water and put it in, then everything going to be watery. Then your spinach is not good. So if you're doing fried spinach, especially frozen spinach, don't add water. Hey, how are you? <laughs> Can we help you? So look at this finish guys. Oh my god. I wish one of them can just come and taste it. You know? Oh my god, it's so good. Okay. Let me mix it. Chiquita says I couldn't wait to get home. I parked Hold on. I couldn't wait to get home. I parked in the parking lot to eat my fish and grits and added my pepper sauce. So good. <laughs> Now, now, I hope you have some water with you because that pepper sauce is so spicy and hot. <laughs> mm. Too spicy yeah. for me. Huh? Too spicy Too for spicy, me. Right? Yeah. Yeah, that pepper sauce, when you eat it, you just, you know, you just go a little bit. Just a little bit. Some people ask me, can you make mild hot pepper sauce? Where is the mild hot pepper sauce? We don't have uh, mild. Habanero is habanero. <laughs> maybe use jalapeno. But jalapeno is still. It's hot too. But you like the jalapeno might be mild. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try it. Thank you, Ashley. <laughs> I'm gonna try it and see. I'll make some for us at my house. Yeah. And try it. So if it's mild, then I have my mild hot pepper sauce. <laughs> Guys, look at this spinach. It's almost ready. Good morning, Judy. And spinach, don't let it overcook. Spinach, you just steam it. 
you know, because it's vegetables. You can eat this spinach with rice, you know, you can eat it by itself. You can eat it with anything else you want. Pita bread, you know, you can eat it with pita bread. So we're going to let it cook. Show them the spinach actually. You on Facebook? Follow your boss. <laughs> oh my god. So, you know, the spinach takes time to boil because it's frozen. And um, trust me, 5 10 minutes, this spinach is going to be ready. So, this is how you fry your spinach. Put any oil of your choice and heat it up. Then, fry your bell peppers and onions. You know, don't let it cook, just saute the onions and peppers. Then put your ruby seasonings, put your ginger and garlic, if you're a ginger and garlic lover, then after you put your spinach. You can even use fresh spinach. If you're an African, buy the fresh spinach, raise it up, cut it up. I'll help you. If you live in Atlanta, come here and come grab your lunch today. We're here to feed you guys. 5198 Highway 85, Forest Park, Georgia. Pull up now, pull up now, and come get your food. And don't forget to share my videos. Don't forget to, to tell your family members, your friends, you know, your uncles, your aunties, whoever that you know, even your enemy, just call him. I know we never speak for three years, but please follow this lady if you hang up the phone, you know? <laughs> Emily says, I tuned in yesterday when you were sharing your food and blankets to less fortunate. Bless your heart. She yeah, said, bless your heart. Yeah, that was so beautiful. Oh my God, I cry. Actually, I swear I cried yesterday. Yeah, making you, me cry. You saw the video. You saw yes, the video. You yes. Said, I want to go home. Yes. I want to go home. I said, where is your home? She said, I'm from Mississippi. I want to go home. I just want to go home. I don't know where I am. I just want to go home. Oh my God, I want to go home. Yesterday, yeah. it just keep ringing in my head. Yeah. I couldn't sleep, you know, because that's what I... I was saying, some of them want to go home. Some of them don't know how they get themselves there. You know, situations happen in life where you don't have control on it. You know, so I'm appealing to anybody out there, the little extra you have, share. If you don't have, I can understand. But that little extra, like the way that, that lady came yesterday, my, one of my supporters, she the one brought the, the blanket, the socks, the chips, they even made some sandwiches, she and her two daughters, because they used to do this in California, you see? So, it's nothing different. Get up and do it. You just have to get up and say, let me go do it. You know, don't wait for somebody to tell you, let's go do this. You get up and do it. Please, guys. Uh, so many people suffering, though. So many people suffering out there. Don't say, I'm not helping. Oh, they get themselves in that situation. Let them get themselves out. No, sometimes you need... Okay, turn the fire down. Sometimes you need a hand. You need somebody to lift you up. Because even that day I fell on that video, I almost called somebody to pick me up. You see, so that's the meaning. When you fell in financial struggle, in any kind of struggle, you need somebody to help you get up. So all of us need each other. 
So thank you so much. You guys saying thank you to me. Me, I'm saying thank you to God because it's God that make that happen. It's God that gave me the opportunity and the resource to do it. You know, so we have to thank God for that. Let me show you guys my spinach. It's almost ready. Thank you, Chef. Mary says, don't worry, Chef Ruby. God is going to bless you with your own restaurant. Oh, Claim funny. it in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 You know, so it's coming. I know it's coming. It's just a matter of time. You know, we are going to employ 10, 15 people just to run it. You know, it's coming very soon. So now, guys, I'm going to add some more coconut oil because it's still dry. Good morning, Linda. Yeah, guys, you can go ahead and add more coconut oil. Okay. Aaron, Aaron says, uh, palbano peppers are milder than jalapenos. Palbano peppers. You find it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Palbano peppers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I add some more coconut oil because the spinach is kind of dry. Now you just like leave the coconut oil on the top till everything just steam. Evelyn says, when you blend the garlic and ginger, can you freeze it or just refrigerate it? Refrigerate. Yeah, refrigerate. Just put it in a regular fridge. You know? Or if you want, if you if it's a lot, you can you can split it into two. You know? The first one you can put in a ziplock bag and put it in the freezer, you know? Then the second one, you just put in the refrigerator. So when that one is finished, then you can bring the one in the freezer out. Mm -hmm. Get a point? Yes. So you can do it that way. Yes, 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 guys. Good morning, Phyllis. So the spinach is ready, oh, guys. Show my people my spinach, actually. Oh, my God. So my vegan people, my vegetarian people, my vegetarian people. <laughs> vegetarian people. You know, go ahead and cook this finish for yourself. But I make this special for one of my supporters. I wish I could go in my phone and see her name. My One of my supporters that texts me and say, Oh, I only eat veggies now. Do you have any simple recipes for veggies? So I'm dedicating this finish to you. You that send that message, you know yourself. So if you're not watching right now, go back later and watch the video. Oh. This is fried spinach. You know, just put anything of your choice you want in it. The way I make mine, I, I, I burn the, um, I heat up the coconut oil, virgin, virgin coconut oil. You can get it from Sam's Club, you know. So I heat up my coconut oil, then I fry my onions and bell peppers. After I season the, the onions and bell peppers with, with Chef Ruby's um, all-purpose seasonings, make sure you have this season with you for you to cook your recipes, you know? So I season it with that. Then after I put my um, ginger and garlic, mix it together, then I put my frozen spinach. So this is the after result, guys. You see it? Kimberly, thank you for the 200 stars. Thank you for the stars. Oh, yesterday we have, how many stars? Over 10,000 stars yesterday. Oh my God, thank you guys so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We appreciate you guys. And that motivates us to keep doing it. Me and my chef Abu. Me and my chef Abu, Madu, Rashida, Nazba, okay? We're gonna keep doing this. For you guys, because of you guys' support, we're, we're never gonna stop. We're gonna keep going, okay? So look at this finish, guys. Oh my God. Oh my God. You cannot beat this one. Ah, let me taste it. I have to taste it. I like to eat my spinach with rice. So, guys, I put some white rice and I put some cabbage on the side. Let me taste shake cabbage. Maybe my spinach will taste better than this. <laughs> Oh my god. Look at the spinach. So if I'm a vegetarian now, I don't need no meat on this. This is a meal you can eat and be full and satisfied. 
satisfied, right? Mm -hmm. You wouldn't wish. <laughs> you know, you don't have to go out there and eat any junk. You can stay in your house and the, 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 the cabbage, you cook the cabbage the same way, just like the spinach. Fry your onions, if you're going to cook onions, you know, if not, just cut up your cabbage, put it in the pot, put it in the pot and steam it. Put a little water, steam it. When it's almost uh, steamed, you put my, my all purpose seasoning, then you put a little coconut oil, you can put shredded carrots, or you can put mixed vegetables if you don't have it. Look how beautiful these dishes. Oh my God. I don't need to put no meat here. You see? Any hot pepper? Elizabeth says, well done, girl. My first time here, and I'm loving it and inspired to. Thank you so much. I have to pull hot pepper. I think you had an open one. Give me the open one. The open one. Yeah. That's the one you so opened. The open one said, ready for the one she's selling. Yeah. Chef, you're doing a wonderful job. I enjoy your videos. I've been cooking so many of your recipes. Thank the you. seasoning is a game changer. The coating on the jumbo shrimps. Thank you. Mm. Oh my God. It's so good. You know? I think I'm going to become vegetarian. You don't need meat here. But I still want some meat. <laughs> So, let me see what I can put. <laughs> yeah. uh, I want a small chicken. Yeah, okay. Ashley, huh. it's going to be hard for me to, to come up with the material. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So now I, I, I don't think I can. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to put some dry chicken here. Okay, you can dry it. Because <laughs> vegetarian, don't do it though. Don't do it like this. Please. I'm still in <laughs> I'm chilling. I'm chilling right now. Push a good fried chicken here. Hmm? A good fried chicken. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, you don't have no more, no more fish. You're gonna put the spinach down there. No what? The fish. How many pieces you put? The fish. No more fish. No more no, fish. No. It's down here. Under the, under the ginger and garlic, the fish is over there. I'm chilling my diet, so guys. Me, I have to eat this with chicken. Oh my god. Thank you, Mary. Come on, let's be Someone said, good morning, Chef. I'm always praying for you, your family, and your business. God bless you. Thank you so much. Thank you. May God bless you, too. Thank you for your prayers. Look at this food, actually. Show them. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Who want a spoon? Spinach, cabbage, rice, and fried chicken. Mm -hmm. Give me a drink. Fanta over there. No, it can't fanta. Mm. 
Come get your plate, guys. Monica, thank you for the 490 stars. Oh, thank you. Oh, my God. <laughs> Someone says, Chef, you was a vegetarian for five seconds. I have to have meat in my mouth. I have to feel that meat in my tongue. You know? I try, I try, I try. Hi. What's up, buddy? How are you? Good, how are you? I'm good. Well, Zena said, love how you did the spinach. We'll have to try it. Please try it. Are you ready? Yes, yes, I'm ready. What you wanna what what you wanna eat today? Fish? I want a uh I want a fish sandwich. <laughs> Lynn says I need you to ship me that plate. I know. No problem. <laughs> Jackie says, watching from Macoon, Georgia, I'll be visiting you soon. Okay. Come, um, come next month for my birthday special. We're going to have a big party outside the, the Vicky gas station. So make sure you come on the 13th of November. Okay. You are invited too, okay? Yes, ma'am. We're going to cut the cake together. 13th of November. Uh, 13th of November, we're going to be outside. Okay. Big uh, birthday party for me. Oh, wow. Okay, I got yeah, right. Bring a gift to you. Don't bring gift to you. I'm going to close it. I got you. Okay. I got you. Thank you. I'll All see right, you. <laughs> so, guys, don't forget for my birthday special on November 13th, right here at the Big Gas Station. Ashley, going to show you guys the address before we end the video. Come and party with Chef Ruby. Come and shop with Chef Ruby. Come and eat with Chef Ruby. We're going to have all international food that you think of. We're going to have fufu. We're going to have cassava leaves. We're going to have potato leaves. We're going to have jollof rice. You know, any food you guys want to try. We're going to have Jamaican food. We're going to have some soul food and some Spanish food, Mexican food, you know. So please come. And vegan, please come. I'm going to have this for you guys, my vegan people. We're going to have the cabbage, the spinach, the yellow rice, the white rice, the mac and cheese. So if it's only coming to try my vegan, just come, okay? Me, me is vegan slash chicken. So if you want only vegan, I got you. Okay, we're going to be outside party. Then we're going to have barbecue, we're going to have beef ribs, jerk chicken, uh, barbecue chicken, baked beans, mashed potatoes. We're going to have it all, you know, just come and freestyle, sample anything you want. I think, how are we going to sell? I wanted to say like $20 sample plate, so we just give a little bit of whatever somebody wants. Somebody can choose what they want in one plate. You know, so it's going to be maybe 20 to 25 dollars. I have to come up with a price. So we're going to have like one price. So that way we can taste of, they can get a taste of most of the food that we have. Maybe somebody can choose like three or four items. Okay. I don't know. We, we have to see that in the store. You know, Rashida going to have um, a raffle for you guys, for, you know, for three winners. We're planning all that. As soon as we come up with everything, we're going to put it on the page so you can have the information. If you have to fly to come see Chef Ruby, start buying your ticket now. So the ticket will reach you next month the 13th. So put in for your ticket. We're going to have African clothes. We're going to have some t-shirts, you know? So please, you guys come on and party with us, okay? November 13th, we're going to start 2 o'clock because we're going to make sure all the food is ready. You can come one, 12, 30 and hang out with us, you know, play music, party, but we're going to start serving at 2, from 2 to 6 or 2 to 7, you know? So please, you guys come. If you live in Atlanta, start making your plans, put it on your calendar, put it on your your reminder. <laughs> How are you? Long time no see. You look different. <laughs> I know. 
So, I'm going to say bye to you guys for now. Don't forget to go order your seasonings. Internationalflavorsstudio.com. Go on my page. The website is there. Just click it. If you live in London, Australia, Canada, you know, all these neighboring countries, if you live here and you want to order, call me. I can ship them to you personally. But the website won't ship international. Okay? Love you guys. See you later. Peace out. Bye, everyone. Peace out.